I always liked that in uh, I do. I just feel that. Oh, first grade, grade school. I've been telling you what coming up. I always liked that rhythm. Baby. Always. Um, here's an, here's a, there's another song I liked when I was small. I used to dance to this. We used to have a class in our school. Uh, our instructor, our singing instructor used to let us get up on the, you know, and the whole class get up and dance. We feel like I used to just book it. I guess it's, it's kind of related to, this song is related to what I'm wearing. It's called Ten Little Onions. Ten Little Onions. One little, two little, three little onions. Ready? Ready? Let's try again. One, two, let's go. Now, now, one little, two little, three little in well, one little, five little, six little engine out, and a seven little, eight little, nine little engine. Nine little, nine nine little engine now, ten little engine and your boy. Sing now. Now one little, two little, three little engine, four little, five little, six little engine, seven little, eight little, nine little engine. Ten little Indian boys, hey! One little, two little, three little Indian, four little, five little, six little Indian, now seven little, eight little, nine little Indian, a ten little Indian boys, boys, yes sir, a ten little ch -ch children, girl, boy, yeah, yeah, now 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 ten little Indian the bomb. Rockable ten little execution. I always like this song better. I'm sure a lot of children like some of these songs. In case you just tune into Elton and Betty White, uh, we're doing a children dedication to all the children of America. Yes, we are. Uh, we're doing a sweet uh, children dedication of entertainment. Oh, if you pick up, we'll get two. We we'll get two each time. Play, play the checks out. Oh, you got it. Wait, may, may I say one thing? That, uh, 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 this song, children, you don't have to listen to this because it's dedicated to your parents. And uh, uh, I think a lot of harm is done. And this is my own feelings. I didn't learn it in anybody's teaching theology. It was in a book that I read. And it was saying that Jesus Christ could never have gotten married. Not mm -hmm. ever, because the law at that time was that he's if you did not child. have a legal... According to the Bible, he's a bastard child, right? He, uh, uh, Jesus, uh, that, uh, that, uh, according uh, to the law of the Jews, According right? to the law. The he Jews, could never, I wasn't going to say anybody with the law at that time. Mm -hmm. So some people, it still is a law. That you right. can't marry unless you, marry. you have a legal father. legal father. And to me, I feel that uh, it, has, it has kept a lot of young men from getting married. You know, because we tell them, like Jesus to be. And, and uh, Jesus mm. didn't get married. So that has turned a lot of people away from marriage. And, and I, it breaks my heart because I, I think that Jesus you know, might not have had a stormy road at the end if he could have gotten married. And the book that, that I read implied that he wanted to get married, but he ran against those obstacles. But he did try to get married. Yeah. He did. <laughs> and and, and uh, he never condemned marriage. He never condemned women. But this is a song that I wrote. Oh, <laughs> healthy bodies, healthy bodies. We healthy all have healthy bodies. bodies healthy bodies, they're beautiful babe. without clothes. Oh, they're beautiful without clothes. They're proud of all their functions. And the help and the that health it shows. Show. The help that it shows. God gave us this great miracle and made it glow with life. And no one can tell us it's evil. It's God's gift for joy in life. We exercise our bodies daily. Daily, daily, daily. We help the body and we love our mates. Now help the body. Turn your back and help the body. God gave us healthy bodies. It's his gift from joy and life. And, and, healthy uh, bodies. I like I, that. I'm, I'm interjecting a lot of Betty songs. <laughs> And this is another song. Okay. But, I mean, I feel them, and I can't deny what I think. And uh, I, I feel that uh, youngsters are growing up faster than we did. And if you want to call it evolution, the development of the human, uh, they're exposed to a lot of <laughs> knowledge that, I mean, this was unheard of. A lot of knowledge they're getting. When, when I was a child, it was unheard of. And, and they are ready for better things at the age of 15, and they still have to act like they're... When I when I left high school, I, my closing speech was more freedom for teenagers. And all more these freedom. years have passed, and it is oh, yeah. just teenagers. exactly the same. It's you have to same, pretend right. that you don't know anything, and and what you do is going to have to be on the on the out, outskirts of society, the edges of society. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and, and what it is, I can't help what I feel. And everybody may be they are maturing early. Let them marry at fifteen. 15. She wants to marry at fifteen. Let's end all this nonsense about what we're going to do. About 
about teenage mothers, gang wars, suicides, drugs. All the fun because teenage years can be very, very lonely when when you're with a group of girls and they're all out. Listen, I wouldn't go back on my marriage life or my baby or my marriage life now. That's right. Marriage is the most wonderful thing that ever happened on the face of this earth. Yeah, I like marriage. I like marriage. You do like marriage, and you do like marriage. I like this song. That's great. Yeah, you know, marriage. Marriage, marriage, marriage. Your marriage is the security. You know it. We've been married about nine years now. It's a lot of security. You feel relaxed now. And yeah, I marriage, do. I do. You've got alone, someone to go with, someone to do things with, and you don't have to be alone anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's 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 the most wonderful thing I've ever been into. I was I, in my adult life. I was single a year and eight months, and if God be willing, I'm never going to be single again. Yeah. <laughs>